left is gonna rot you. Welcome to Deep Hurting, episode one. Where, um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that intro. Screw that. Our pain is your gain. Yeah, it sounds stupid. Yeah. I'm super deformed, also known as Guy, and my co host, Bobo, or Chris. The magic one. Bobo the magic one, not Chris the magic one. I was 16 when I made it. Whatever. Okay, so what have you been watching lately? Well, I've been watching episodes of Bullshit, uh, Season 6, Dolphins Don't Have Superpowers, uh, Pitchforks Don't Make Your Acupuncturists Work Any Better, and um, NASA Costs a Lot of Money, but it's worth it. Wow, coming from libertarians. I'm not a libertarian. Well, I mean, Penn and Teller are. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, and I've, I've, I just watched There Will Be Blood. Ooh. That was fucking hilarious. That it's movie was great. Funny, funny movie. Yeah, Daniel Day Lewis should win an Oscar forever. Didn't he win it for that? Yeah, he did. But okay. he should win every year regardless. Yeah, he's for, pretty for no good. Reason. Anytime he acts, he's pretty much like put into it's like, the running. Uh, it's like a like you eat a meal watching him. I don't understand the analogy, but whatever. It's good. It's satisfying. Yeah, so what we got wrong in our little pre made up episode about um Megazo two three like every episode, we're going to do a little errata segment where we like, where people call us out and says, "You're a fucking idiot. You, this is wrong. You should say this instead." We'll we'll give in to those people and say, "Okay, we we're wrong." It's like, okay to be wrong, like NPR or something. So last week I said uh, Studio New made Megazone Two Three. They, they didn't. It they was did not. it was AIC and Artmic Studios, whatever the fuck they call themselves. Good for them. Bravo. Moving on. MD yeah. Geist? Yeah, MD Geist. We watched the first MD Geist. <laughs> and I don't think we want to watch the second. Yeah, we might watch it we one day. We might watch it. I'll watch day. it one day. One day. But uh, not today. <sighs> not today at all. So, where did I... I don't that? know how many of you guys were around during the, the 80s and early 90s trying to watch anime. There wasn't many things you could watch, and this happened to be one of the things you could watch. Yeah, pretty much you can, like, get the rights to this for, like, <laughs> saliva in a cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saliva in the cup. Yeah, here you go. There's some fetish in Japan that, like, is into saliva in a cup. I'll pay good money for that. <laughs> They'll pay good money for it. Yeah, anyway, um, Koichi Ohada directed this piece of shit. I mean, wonderful film. I mean, heartwarming tale for the entire family. He's a mecha designer, and he should stick to that. He's really good at that. He uh, did He did the Gunbuster, and you know what? That's pretty good. In fact, we're doing the Gunbuster pose right now. You yeah. know what that is. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. The Gunbuster can't do, like, the balling the fist into the arms and make your biceps look bigger, because it's metal. No. You cannot. But it can collapse the core of Saturn and make a black hole. Mm-hmm. I could do that. Only if you want to. Yeah. You don't feel like it. He did the mecha designs for G.I.J. Sigma 6. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Uh, they thought they could make another G.I. Joe. God, Sigma 6. But anyway. Yeah. Um, this so, is a pretty interesting little uh, OAV. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> there's many things that you could... Uh, there's many conclusions you can go when you're watching this this. Film. All I know is that it's the end of the Christian era. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's what they <laughs> said, didn't they? Yeah, the, the, the wall of text they did twice. Yeah, there's a couple walls of text in this movie, which means quality. Yeah, it means, like, we watched Star Wars and it worked for him. Yeah. God. But anyway, what is it? In the first wall of text, they say it's the end of the Christian era and that there's a war between regular army... Well, on this planet, oh. like, the planets try to be independent from Earth, and they're fighting each other, and I think the planet's army has a regular army, and then a super special army, and then in, within the super special army, is there's genetically engineered soldiers, a la Captain America, Okay, called the MD Geist the MD people, Geist. Okay. things. What about the Nexium army, or whatever? Uh, are, they, are they the Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, the, that's the planet, I think. Okay, the planet's army is the Nexium army, and yeah. the Earth army is the regular army. No, no, no. Nexium has the regular army, and the Goofy army, and the one that makes the robot factory that would destroy the planet, but, you know. They don't feel like using it for some reason. 
the Death Force. I don't know. Okay. I forgot. It's been two weeks since we saw it, and I've forgotten the movie already. Don't worry about it. Let's go I got the, notes. Let's go to the opening. Yeah, so once upon a time, there's this field of uh, dead people. <laughs> Lots of dead people. <laughs> this war's bad. And there's like this dude with this bitch of blonde haircut, like laying down like he's Billy Idol with a gun. In and his a head. Pl- and, a fl- and a plane flies over, and he shoots a grappling hook into it. Yeah, because grappling hooks are good like that. Have you ever tried shooting an airplane with anything? It doesn't work. Yeah, I tried it with a rubber band. It doesn't go up that high. Yeah. But this grappling I was hook like does. 10. Maybe uh, I gotta do it as an adult with a grappling hook gun. Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, he, he's able to shoot the, the plane as it's going over him. He's, uh, very, very intelligently, um, disguised as a person with a bullet wound to the head. Yeah, he, he, it's either a disguise or he was actually shot in the head. I don't know. I like to think it was a disguise. I like, to, I like to think it's. I like to think it's quality directing and editing. Because it's not like you have time <laughs> while you're in an airplane flying over a field of dead bodies to notice. Well, I think he had a bullet wound in like his head while he was on the ground, and so he's okay. trying to. Bl- he's like, I gotta blend in somehow. Let me put a bullet wound in my head. Okay. Okay. Either by bullet or he stuck a little sticky on. With yeah. But I don't know. I don't know either. Because after the scene, it looked like he just pulled something off and he was done. But then some people who saw it said, said that he pulled the bullet out of his head. And, and it I'm healed like, up, right? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. So he's either a Wolverine or like a Batman trying to hide his his fake bullet wound. I don't know. But anyway, so why does he have this bullet wound in his head? I don't know. Because he repels up into the plane and gets in front of the cockpit somehow. <laughs> And they just waste them. And waste them with what? A, 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 the, the gun that he shot the grappling hook with. <laughs> but, ha- but does he shoot a grappling hook into the... No, he, the... Shoots, he shoots a missile into it. And then what is he doing? And then, and then he kind of just falls down with you the parachute. You forgot the machine gun part. Oh, there's a machine gun part. <laughs> so he shoots the grappling hook gun up with a rocket on it. After shooting the rocket and the grappling hook, it then becomes a machine gun. And he then wastes anyone who's not already dead from said rocket. Oh, I forgot. You forgot. It's okay. And then, you know, he jumps out of the plane with no parachute because, you know... He's badass. Because he doesn't afraid of gravity. You know? Nothing. He doesn't believe in that. He doesn't believe in gravity, so it's all right. He lands, takes the bullet out, or takes off the little decal, whatever... Yeah. And walks off like a badass as there's an explosion behind him, which is the mark of a true badass. <laughs> okay, yeah, Planet Jera is a planet where it takes on. Nexium hates Earth. Okay, Nexium. And then, got a, got a hole in my head, is what I wrote in the notes. Okay. And then, I misdetailed the breeze, because when things blow up in anime, it doesn't look as pretty as it used to be. Like, you know, everything just shatters apart. Yeah. And then next scene, a saddle, there's another wall of text about something. I forgot what it was because it was a month ago. Or like the world is Mad Max land. There you go. Yeah, there's this man called Kinshiro who. No, wait, that's another show. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, the MD guys were sent up in rockets to get him away from the planet. Why not just blow him up, shoot him into the sun? Whatever you have to do. No, nah, just put him, in, put him in orbit. Like, they could have just shot him into orbit and then, like, opened up the cockpit. You know, it doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, there's many ways that you can kill someone. I mean, Maybe he's, like, Bree Tai. He can just, like, get out, get out of the ship and, like, walk around. Maybe. Ugh. Maybe he's in Trotty. Oh, it's in Trotty. <laughs> Maybe it's a secret Macross sequel. We don't know. God, no, maybe a not. prequel. No, it's not. Maybe he's the original in Trotty. Anyway, years later, <laughs> or the next scene, I don't know because yeah. the way the editing's done. You can't tell how much time passes. So the satellite crashes, leaves a big crater, and it's not burned up in the atmosphere for some reason. Yeah, because he's you awesome see, like that. Yeah, you see this guy with a nice blonde mullet and, like, stubble, just, like, standing out, like, being all like, ha, ha. And he sees the watch on the ground. I guess he somehow figures out how much time has passed, but not really. I don't know. Because he asks... Okay, but anyway, go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> Cut to another scene. I guess this is the next day or next month or whatever. Whatever. A couple minutes. Like, these gangs are, like, chasing down this guy in some Power. armor. Yeah. Really good. I guess he's a Nexium army guy, because regular army guys don't wear this stuff. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> whatever. I don't know. And... They, what happens? They, they, okay. 
Uh, this guy in the super armor is running away from these thugs. He runs into, like, a city that's been decimated. Yeah, like, normal physical North Star set. Yeah, except he's wearing power armor, and these, like, little gutter punk guys are shooting arrows and stuff at him. And for some reason, it's working. Yeah. And, like, it basically kills the guy. Um, as they're going over to, I guess, take the armor from this man, who's dead now, uh, MD... Geist. Is that what we're going to call him? No, Geist. Blondie. Okay, Geist is, uh, like, looting the body before the the the, 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 the street rats and stuff like that yeah, have yeah, a they, chance to. And yeah, so they're a little pissed off at this naked man. Is he naked at this point? No, he has clothes on, I think. Yeah, he has some clothes on. But he's, like, looting the body before them. Yeah, and so their, their leader, this guy... Huge. With, like, sunglasses and, like... A nice, beautiful, fluffy mullet thing <laughs> jumps down the fight, Geist. And then there's this woman in a bikini who they, they show for some reason as, I, I don't know, like she has some semblance of like a mind because she's like, this is not a good idea. <laughs> and so Geist like chops off his arms. Arms and head or something. Yeah, just his arms and kind of like bleeds like this gaseous blood everywhere. everywhere. It looks really fluffy. It's weird looking. It's really weird because he kill he cuts off his arms and as the other street punks and uh, Mad Max rejects are uh, in utter shock, he then goes back down to loot the body some more. All Fallout 3 style. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oops, I killed everyone. <laughs> And so the girl's like, hey, why don't you lead us? And then cut to another scene. <laughs> oh, what's the other scene? What happened? So, Oh, wait, did they have the scene of the, her trying to have sex with him? Uh, yeah. So he, she, he, yeah, he kills the, the boss. He loots the body more. Uh, she asked him to become the leader of the gang. The gang is not too happy about this, but they're going to go with it because she's a pretty smart girl. And they, they trust her opinion. But yeah. they really don't like this Geist guy. Yeah. Uh, she tries to seduce him with her sexy ways. And he's like, I'm not interested. He's not interested. She's, I want to kill people. <laughs> he's, all he wants to do is kill people. And she tries to do some more. And I think he just like throws her out of the room. <laughs> naked. And then she calls him like... You know, bastard. You bastard. You bastard. Why did you sex me? Then, I gave you the best years of my life. Yeah. Or five minutes of my the life. The best five minutes of my life. Could have been ten years. I don't know. Uh, and then I think they decide to, um, you know. And then kind of like, then he decides to, like, to pit the next, Nexus. Yeah, he wants to ambush the Nexium army. So, cut to another scene, I, I th- guess. Yeah. I guess months have passed. He, got a, he has a nice haircut. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. And. That you go to attack this tank thing. Yeah, there's this tank thing that's getting attacked yeah. by other people, other uh, punks or other army. It's another army, right? Yeah, I think, I think it's the other... I don't know. I think it's the Nexum army attacking the regular army's super tank that's traveling. Or it's the Nexum army being attacked by the Earth's army. Oh, God. This movie's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happens is Geist wants to ally with the people on the super tank that's being attacked. I don't think he even declares that. He just wants to see them. He oh, he wants to see them, and to see them, he has to pretend like he's helping them. So he, him and his or biker they're just, crew, they're just there by chance. He's like, "Cool, I get the fight." Yeah, he's really happy to fight, and uh, so him and him and his people, his merry men, well, mainly him, kills all the guys on the tank. Yeah, trying yeah. to break into it. And One guy's like, "I'm not sure I want to follow this guy," and then he gets his head shot in the head. Off. He's like, "Man, this guy's crazy." I don't want to follow him anymore. And get shot in the head <laughs> because he had bad thoughts. Apparently, yeah. I think I like to think it was Geist. He just like yeah. I like to, that, I like to think that too. He just he just ricocheted off the other guy. He shot through one guy. To get to him. I yeah, think. exactly. But um, so he punishes. Nothing so but, while they're fighting this, there's like internal struggle happening on the tank ship or the big runaway tank super thing, and the captain of it is having a. I guess um, the crew is much less than it used to be or something. So he's back there fighting also. And as he's fighting, he sees MD Geist and is able to hone in on his dog tags, I guess, what is that, a quarter mile away? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. And and once the fight's over, he wants to see Geist and his crew. 
Yeah, somehow he goes, make us join. No, he asks him to join. He, yeah, the, the general then, or whatever, the captain or whatever he is. And then the girl tries to go, well, offer us more money. And it's like, guys, like, I don't care. I don't want money. I just want to kill. I, I just don't care. He, he leaves anyway, so I guess they agreed with her. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so he, he just doesn't care or something. Um, so at which get, point the, the whole Merry Men crew decided to leave Dodge because uh, Geist is well, yeah, a crazy the, the, lunatic. The gay, the, the gay guy in a little uh, hat and purple hair. He's always like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. This is not cool. He leaves. Yeah, whatever. And the girl stays with Geist because so deep that, down she knows that she can change him. Because no, no, that's her meal ticket. She don't care. Oh, a meal ticket. Okay, not because she wants to change him. Or I think it's because she's just scared of living the post-apocalypse. I don't you know, blame her. This guy's pretty strong. Because, you know, in the post-apocalypse, women just get raped to death. Yeah, and then sure. eaten. And then this guy doesn't even want to have sex with her willingly, so... What, yeah. I mean, heck. I mean, Don Johnson and his dog could end up eating her at any minute. <laughs> yeah, it's bad times. Because <laughs> they had to eat. Bad times. If anyone catches that reference, you're pretty awesome. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, boy. <laughs> but anyway, so I think there's a, a scene where she tries talking to him about fighting, and he just wants to kill shit, and then she gets a little scared. I guess. All I remember is Death Force. That is what they must take out. Of the Death Force. That the, the, gr- the, the grandest the army. The grandest strategy ever employed. Ever. This is better <laughs> than nuclear warfare, people. <laughs> because... If the the people of Jera, the Nexium army, loses, or they're about to lose, they're going to push a button or something, and this robot factory is going to make endless robots to destroy the planet. Yeah, make it so no one can have it. Which, if they had the ability to do that, why couldn't they just make a bunch of robots to kill the, just other, the, other the Earth people. army? Like, you know, you could have put, like, a little purple hat on or something, they wouldn't kill people with purple hats, whatever. Any, anything would have been smarter than what they did. So, yeah, anything. So the, the Nexium, Jera, whatever the fuck it is, President died. So Death Force is about to kick on. So these people in the tank that... The super tank that was the speeding super, around. The super tank that was getting his ass kicked by punks that now MD Geist is part of somehow. Or they're bargaining to get more money, but they just kind of he just kind of joins. They don't really explain that. Mm-hmm. They go to, like, the factory thing. When they get there, he suits up in his mecha arm with all the spikes and stuff, which is the symbol of which company? U.S. Maga Corps. U.S. U.S. Maga Corps. Yes. Otherwise known as Central Park Media. Makers of fine anime such as Project Echo, mm. Record of Lotus War, and, um... Um... God, what else did they do? Didn't they do, uh... Slayers. Like Real, right? No. They might have. Oh, well, but anyway. Bunch of things. They do a bunch of things. They're pretty cool people. Whatever. But, uh, so... Quality products all around. Guys and the people have, like... Basically, there's, like, this intricate plan that basically just involves them going straight to the, the computer. <laughs> through the and front blow- door. Yeah, through the front door. And, and turning off the computer. That's their job. So they have this intricate plan to don't, go do that. Don't man the, the, the robot death factory. Just, no. just leave it alone. Just... Leave it out somewhere. Leave it out there so Super Tank can drive through. Just throw all the... Re- Instead of fighting a war, just throw all your resources into that in case you lose. In case you lose, exactly. Heaven forbid. It doesn't make any sense. Brilliant writing. Brilliant. Uh, so they go... They basically fight their way all the way down there to the end where there's this, I guess, super robot? Yeah, people, there's robots all over the place. They just killed everybody and some guy with a Japanese name dies. Everyone's all upset. I forgot his name. I was going to make more jokes about his, the guy's name, but so, I forgot it. Yeah. I don't care. Doesn't care. <laughs> so the, the general and Geist are the only ones who survived to the second to last room. The computer's in the next room. The yeah. general knows how bad Geist is because he's an old man at this point. Yes. I'm calling him general. I don't know if he's captain or whatever. I don't care. Captain Gen- King. Yeah. Captain King. Captain King. <laughs> captain King does not like Geist. So he he somehow gains access to the the final boss robot, which, you know, because you make a final boss robot in the robot factory. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, there's nothing else better to do. Boss robot. Yeah, you know, you're fighting a war that you're losing. Boss Boss robot. (laughs) Uh, 
design me a boss robot. So Geist uh, gets locked in the room with the boss robot, and they begin to fight a, a, an epic battle of epicness or something. Yeah, and he, he has the three forms. It's like the end of Chrono Trigger, I guess. Or, you yeah. know, you beat him, it's like, oh, no, you didn't beat him. you got to like, the other four. Oh, no, arm. like, you beat him. The heavy armor comes off, and now he's fast and dangerous. Yeah. Oh no, you defeated him again. He becomes an even faster and more dangerous robot. Yeah, and he kind of flies around in pieces or something. Yeah, it's weird. I can't it remember. doesn't matter. But Geist just beats him because whatever. Yeah, beat, he's, beat the bloody hell. While this is going on, the general turns off the computer, saves the day. He saves the day. He stops the death force from happening. Geist comes in there and kills the general because he's just yeah. pissed. At which point, the girl comes in with a bikini. Somehow she gets from the tank to the computer room with no one caring. Yeah, because she hid in the locker, she said. She hid in the locker? Yeah, she said, oh, I hid in the locker, so I wasn't killed. What? <laughs> I don't even remember that part, but whatever. So she she made it down there, and she's like, guys, we stopped Death Force. Together, we can rule this planet. The guys has a weird glazed look on his eyes as he walks over yeah. to the computer, turns Death Force on. She's like, you crazy! I think he then strangles her to death, and then he, he waits for the robots to awaken so he can kill them all. Yeah, you know, like Evangelion. I don't... I don't remember. It was it was bad. Um, yeah, there's a reason I don't remember much of this because this is really horrible. I mean, it doesn't. I feel it, I feel bad for all the uh, characters in the movie because they had to be in the movie and they weren't even real. Yeah, well, take solace in the people who voiced them. Got a paycheck, I guess. Okay, okay, I'll go with that. They got people got and, paid, and you know, people people were doing coke. It's all right. I understand Japan. Yeah, they like the coke, the nose candy. Mm. You know, really high, and you're like, the most dangerous. The most dangerous. <laughs> most uh, dangerous. Geist. Geist, yeah, because we can't say ghost. We gotta say Geist, because German makes it sound cooler. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, that's MD Geist. Yeah. And, uh... That was pretty bad. So Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I think we're going to be the first podcast to ever review this. Too. Ever. ever. Um, I don't believe anyone no remembers one, this movie. No one has ever done this. No one's ever reviewed this. We're the most original. We've done it. We win. We win. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, take that this week at Google. Sorry, Internet. Sorry, Internet. You've we lost. won. You might as well just turn off your computer now. So, yeah, this is our first episode. This is like kind of a flat review. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's better reviews of this. Oh, of course. I mean, other than our first, very first one. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is the first. Like, I'm talking about next week, I predict that people are going to do it. A better job. Yeah, and they're going to claim they made it five years ago, but don't believe them. Don't believe them. They're ripping us off. Yeah, I'm sorry. What next? <sighs> I think that's it. That's it? Okay. Yeah, we're we'll keeping it simple. That's it for... So, uh, uh yeah... Go to our website, deephurting.com. Deep hurting. See if we can get... I, I We thought of phrases for the title, and it's like, deephurting.com's available. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And if, you, and if you guys know where that is, uh, where that comes from, uh, you're not special, because uh, half the internet knows. Yeah. If you Google it, you, you, you'll, you'll know right away what it's from. Yeah. And we're going to be really aloof about it, and drag, drag on, get, make this longer. I think we can make it this last like thirty minutes. I think so. Although I'm gonna edit it down to like twenty, but that's a shame. <laughs> yeah, because but... uh, awkward silences are the best silences. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Any other news or anything we need to talk about? Nah. I think oh, I... I uploaded a bunch of uh, previews and shit off the ends of old VHS tapes. Hell's yeah! Are you gonna post that on the site? Yeah, I'll post it in the show notes. But if you just look up. Um, like, username Super Deformed. That's my channel, and you're going to find a bunch of videos of that crap. Nice. And then really stupid, drunken convention videos we made that are barely funny. Yeah. Unless you were there. And then, yeah, we almost died in the elevator in one of them. That was pretty cool. And then my really bad AMVs I made a few years ago. Awesome. Awesome. Because those are so awesome. AMVs, man. That's that's the ticket, man. That's how you get famous. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, some, uh, that's it, I think. So that's it for Deep Hurting? Yeah, Deep Hurting episode one over. Over. over.